back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. You the best. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing if you enjoy today's video. All you have to do is click that little button in the corner of the screen or it's, you know, that big massive red button with the wave subscribe on. Okay, glad we got that one out of the way. If you do enjoy today's video, please remember to also hit that thumbs up button and it just basically tells YouTube that, you know, you like my videos and it pushes me up there with the other content and I can keep making more content like this for you. So, okay, I am bringing you today a massive ASOS haul. It's not that massive, don't know why I said massive. So today I'm bringing you an ASOS haul. It's basically a summer dress haul. So actually, I did a spring dress haul from ASOS um, and you guys seem to really like it. So if you haven't watched that yet, loads of the pieces are still available online. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave it down below in the description box. As I will all of the links for the dresses. So if there's anything that you do love, they'll all be down below in the description. Also, if you're not following me over on Instagram, please pop over and say hi. I'm at with love Katie, and you can shop all of my Instagram over on my like to know it page. So I think that's all we have to say before we get started. Uh, I ordered quite a few pieces. I got a little bit carried away, as you'll know if you've ever been on the ASOS website. It is gigantic. It's a bit of a minefield, which is why I tend to only really do like dress hauls. So I'm going to start with one of my favourite pieces from the whole haul. This is from Warehouse, but obviously it's on ASOS. I got this in a size 10. I'm thinking that was because the size 12 was out of stock. Uh, just for reference, I'm a size 12, UK 12, and I'm about 5 foot 10 in height. Uh, and the shoes that I wore in this haul are not from ASOS, but they will all be linked down below. So this is from Warehouse, this is a 10, and it was only a little bit tight on the bust. Everywhere else, it was absolutely gorgeous. And this is the most expensive piece actually in this haul as well. So this is 65 pound. I'm pretty sure though, if you're new to ASOS, if you haven't used an email address on there before, you can get 15% off. So that's a good little tip for you. Also, there's loads of sales on everywhere at the minute, so just wait for a day when there's a sale on. And um, they've got these really sweet little buttons. It's like a maxi tunic dress. And then it's got this gorgeous, which I'm just in love with at the minute, these like ruffles that get bigger as they go down. I just think this is so flattering, it's so gorgeous, it's very elegant. The pattern on this and the colours of this, I am in love with. It's completely dreamy, completely just like neutral tones, really elegant, really classy. You could just imagine this, like going to a nice barbecue, nice sun hat, nice little straw bag or something. Really, really simple and easy to wear. Just my favourite thing about dresses is that you just put one dress on and your whole outfit's done pretty much. You know, we've got accessories and that, but... You don't have to worry about mixing and matching things. This is just going to look effortlessly gorge. I really love this. Nothing bad to say about it. And I always like to start on one of my favourite pieces because I like to get you guys hooked from the get-go. There are a few pieces in this haul which are not my cup of tea, but I'm still going to share them with you because they might be your cup of tea. And if you love them, then you've got to get what you love. On that note, oh, you've got to get what you love. On that note of like self-empowerment and women empowerment, there is a 95% chance that you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if that is the case, then I would love it if you could hit subscribe right now because I looked at my analytics the other day and basically, women empowerment girls, come on. If you're watching this video, I have spent the time to, to film for you. Then the least you can do is click that subscribe button and make sure you turn the alarm bell button on too. Thanks. Next, I've got a little saucy number for you. I am in love with anything satin. If you are new to my channel, this will be news to you, but if you're not, you'll know. I just think satin is really classic, elegant, feminine, and sexy, and that's kind of like what I like to go for, like understated, but just you just look effortlessly delicious, basically. That's the idea. So I love this. I think it's a lovely, like, faint rose colour. It's really, really nice, quite a different colour got a little split at the leg which I do think in a way kind of ruined it for this dress because it's already quite slinky and sexy and there's not too much of it so to get the leg out as well and it was quite a high slit is kind of like take it to the next level or maybe just keep it for like date night something to impress you know your man or your woman or whoever sorry whoever you would like to impress this I got in a size 12 and the fit was really lovely it's from a company called Lola May clothing. I don't know why I said that so, <laughs> so funny. 
Lovely then. Lola Mae. Lola Mae clothing, which I've not heard of before, so I will definitely check their website out. I think this is a really lovely piece. All the prices, if I don't tell you them throughout the haul, you'll have to just check down below in the description box because some of them don't have the prices on as well. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is really, really nice and just a really gorgeous piece. Really be easy to wear with some, like, some simple, barely there sandals. Y you know the drill by now. A little tiny, maybe clutch bag, maybe a little box bag. Perfecto. Okay, next we're going with something a little bit classier. So this is another one from Warehouse. Obviously, like the Warehouse pieces on ASOS this time. So this is a floral wrap dress. It's £49. Um, and it's got this really pretty, then like, simple little tie bit at the waist. But it's actually like a fake tie at the waist because it's sewn. But it does, I did tie it and it does take it in that extra few inches for you, which is really, really handy. I think it's really gorgeous, really elegant, really feminine. The pattern on it is very pretty. They've gone really well with their floral patterns this year warehouse, obviously. Not somewhere that I ever normally would shop and I probably wouldn't have ever found these two pieces if I hadn't have gone on ASOS. So for that, I am thankful. However, ASOS isn't my favorite. I'm just gonna say that now. Some of the pieces I'm kind of disappointed with, but you will see throughout the haul, and some of them I do love. So, you know, it's kind of like hit and miss, which I do feel like all retailers are these days. Anyway, yeah, £49, really, really sweet, little cap sleeves. It's a really nice length, it's a midi length. I tell you what I did love about this dress is the way the bottom of it just stops. It's like a little scoop that way and a scoop that way. That was really, really nice about this dress, and I do think it's really lovely. It's going to be very versatile for all different sorts of occasions. I really like this one. Okay, so this is the only piece within the haul that isn't a dress. And this is the most delicious skirt I have ever laid my eyes on. Unfortunately, it was a little bit small. It's a 12, but it was a little bit tight around the waist. And I said that in one of my previous videos. And someone was like, no, 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 it's not tight. I was like, yeah, I was breathing in. I was breathing in. It was tight. If I say something's tight... It's tight, okay? <laughs> like, I wouldn't wear this because it was so uncomfy. I'd have to size up. So my recommendation is size up, even though my waist is normally my smallest part. So I don't know what went on there, but it's got this gorgeous, like, ruffly, frill detail. Look at that little ruffle. I love a ruffle. I love a frill. You know that by now. Um, and then it just tied around the waist, and it's got a little button to hold it together as well, which is fantastic. This is from a brand called Monkey, which... I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But basically, I found this brand when I went to Malaysia. And I, ever since, I've always loved it. They've just got funky prints. Some of the stuff's a little bit out there. But then they also do really nice basics. Like plain jumpers, plain tees. Things like that. Really nice, affordable basics. So, And then a few really funky pattern things as well. So they're a really nice brand to check out if you haven't heard of them before. Um, and when this arrived, I actually didn't realise it was from them. And then I looked at it and I was like, that really reminds me of that brand from Malaysia. And it was. So that is why. But that's really sweet. And I think it was somewhere around the £30 mark, which I think is lovely for a skirt like that. I don't think that's too much or too little. Just right for the amount of sass you're going to get out of that skirt. So this next dress is actually what inspired this whole haul. Just because I wanted to purchase this dress. So this is the most gorgeous like milkmaid style top. The bust area I absolutely loved. It's very small though. This was a size 12. I would definitely say it's more of a 10 fit on. My bust isn't very big either and it was like quite tight on the bust. I only had like a stick on bra on at the time, which I quite often don't normally wear, but I had to put it on for one of the other items and it was just still on. Um, it's got a really cute little puff sleeves, just like stretchy material here. It's got a really gorgeous, very similar to like a broider anglaise, uh, design on the dress this is a simple white midi i love it i love it i love it i love it but i got a feeling it was like 40 40 something pounds and i just don't think it was worth the money the quality of the item isn't there for the price of the item i think however it's a gorgeous dress and if money's no object to you then i definitely would say go for it i think it's gorgeous and it's got these lovely two splits down the center which i really like it just takes it from being such a feminine pretty girly dress so like a little bit of leg little bit of sexiness coming out there there's, it's just gorgeous. It's going to look so nice with like nice straw or tan sandals, flat sandals or little heeled ones maybe, like some barely there heels. Um, nice straw hat again, nice straw bag or something. It's going to look really cute and effortless. Effortless, And I really like this piece. But yeah, like I said, I think for what it was, I don't think it was worth the money. But I do think it's gorgeous. And that one's uh, an ASOS brand, I've got to say that. 
So this little cute pink mini, mini, yeah, mini dress is from a company called Jacqueline de Young. De Young. And it's better cotton, so I'm guessing it's like recycled, responsibly sourced cotton production. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so this is a really cute little, just like, literally it is what you see, it's very, very sweet. It's got a little clap, clap sleeves. I felt like the V was a bit of an odd shape, and I feel like if you had a big bust, it wouldn't necessarily be very flattering um, around this area. However, if you don't have much of a bust, it's going to be quite cute. It's very, very easy to wear, just super casual day dress. Nice little flip-flops in the day. I mean, you probably could dress it up, but I personally don't think I would. I think I'll keep it for more of a day dress. But it's a really, really nice little number, and I got this in a size 12. The fit was nice. And this is... £25. So, yeah, I think that's exactly the right price point for me. Whilst we're on the pink dresses, we may as well go to this one next. So, this is a £45 dress, so a little bit more expensive. And to be honest, the quality isn't any better. There's just a little bit more of the dress because it's more of a midi length, which personally I do prefer these days. I would only ever wear like mini length in the day, probably cash. I don't think I'd really go for mini in the night anymore. I don't know, maybe I would, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see when we're allowed out of lockdown, what? I might just go wild. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one's 45, so it's a little bit more. This is a size 12, the fit was really nice on this. It's a very plain, simple dress. It's quite see-through, it's quite sheer. Like I don't know if you could see in the cutaway, I had that stick on bra on, and I felt like you could see it through and it was a nude color. So I'm not really sure how you'd get away with a bra with this. Um, maybe like a lacy, bralette would be quite nice so that it doesn't really matter if you do see it it's kind of like going to add a bit of style to the dress and maybe a bit of the lace sticking out the top might be quite cute um just an idea these peppy sleeves are really adorable and i do like the look the way it's got a little tie at the back it's a really sweet dress and again i like the way it tears down it's like three just a lovely color very girly very feminine very chic all the things we love very nice i actually prefer that i'm gonna put the colors together just so you can see and this is more of like a, a baby nude. Sorry, this is more of like a baby pink and this is more of like a, a neutral nudie pink. So you can just see the color difference. So I was very excited for this one to come and it, I didn't love it. I just I think it didn't quite fit me right, which is why I didn't love it. This is from a company called Pimkey Collection. Um, and I think this one was about 25 pound. It's not got its price on there. But like I said, everything will be down below in the description box. I love the colour of this, I think it's really beautiful and lilac is something that I've just recently got into and like these pastel colours, they're not normally colours I would ever wear, I wouldn't normally wear colours, so to, for me to be showing you all these colours in this haul is like, it's crazy but I actually am really enjoying it and I really like all these florally patterns at the minute and I'm just definitely getting a bit more out there which I think is good to try different things. But this, yeah, it just didn't seem to fit quite right, it was very big on the bust area, it didn't really fit me right around the waist either, it was a little bit big. So I think for this I personally would size down. It had a little split on the leg which I thought was really sweet. It's a very simple plain dress. It has got adjustable straps which I think is really nice and I do like the print on it. I think it's very sweet. It reminds me of like a Zara play suit that I had my eye on that actually sold out and I couldn't get. So it does remind me of that and I think when I saw it that's why I was excited for it to arrive because I was like oh it's going to be just like that one but it's not. And it is, but it just didn't fit right. And personally, I think I would prefer it if it was a play suit, like the Zara one. So yeah, because I just think I wear, personally I wear play suits more, so just comfy. This next one was in the sale. Uh, and I did, again, think it was gonna be a little bit nicer. It was a little bit sheer. But personally, all I think I would do with this one is just wear it as a beach dress. If you wore this on top of a bikini, it'd be absolutely fine. The only thing is, cause it is a bit sheer, it's a bit see-through, it's not gonna be ideal for like wearing in the day, I don't think. It's a very heavy dress and it was so long. I feel like it must have been, oh yeah, it's from the tall collection because it was actually a little bit long for me. If I had some heels on, it would have been absolutely fine. But like I said, I was gonna wear it to the beach. I can't wear heels to the beach. I'm not like, I'm not one of these high maintenance women who wears wedges to the beach. That is not me. I'm already five foot 10, I don't need more height, especially for the sake of going to the beach. So it's just a simple white maxi dress. It's really, really nice. It's really, really heavy. You can see the quality is quite good. It's a shame it is sheer. Um, it's got like just a one pleat at the bottom. It was actually very flattering on. I thought it was gonna be not so flattering, but it was, it made me look really slender, which I didn't, white normally doesn't do, but it really did. Um, I just don't know if it was like the length of it or 
the design like it's just got this design on the busto which it's very very simple but it was just it was very flattering so i really liked it and i definitely would keep it for like a beach haul but i wouldn't be wearing it out in public just because it was a little bit see-through so this one actually surprised me how much i liked it this one is an asos own again and this one was 12 pound uh, sorry a size 12 and this is just really really sweet pink dress like it's a gorgeous color i absolutely love the color it's got really sweet sleeve details puffball balloon type sleeves very elegant and the style of the dress i thought it was going to be quite unflattering because it's just not really a shape but actually it was super flattering on the back is just gorgeous it's really really sweet it's got like a crisscross open back which kind of makes it a little bit more sexy away from like how cute and girly and pink the color is so i think that's really nice addition to it and it does have, does it have a zip? No, it doesn't have a zip, it just chucks on. But yeah, it's a really nice midi dress. It's a nice length on me. Um, I actually think this would be a gorgeous piece for holiday. You know, we just want to chuck something on. If you want to be a little bit covered up from the sun, maybe. Something like that, maybe for the evening, you could dress it up. It's definitely a day to night piece. Really, really easy and very start to wear. And when I got it out of the bag, I wasn't sure because, you know, the material, I just didn't, I just it wasn't, yeah, I didn't know what I thought about it, but having put it on i really did like it the sleeves are quite a little bit different as well i just had like this little funky design detail here which i hadn't seen before and it's just nice to see something new because obviously i see a lot of clothes um i think that was like mid-range price that one so i think that's fairly good this next little number is from new look and i didn't know that new look were on asos i feel like i may have said that before but I had forgotten if I have said that before. So this is a tool from New Look as well. And this is quite straight in the body and I have got a bit of a bum. So for me, it was a little bit snug on the bottom. You may not have seen it in the cutaway from just how I'm modeling it, but it was a little bit snug on the bottom. And then it has got this like really sweet belt detail around the waist, just something really simple. But I think it's nice when you've got this kind of style dress, which is just like to bring it in at the waist because it does show your figure off a little bit more, which was really nice. I love the little puff sleeve details. A lot of the sleeves in this dress haul are actually quite similar, which I'm only realizing now. The ones on this dress are actually my favorite, which I'll show you and talk to you about after. Um, but yeah, the little puff ball details, and then it has got this little cut up bit at the back, which I think is quite nice, because I think to be all covered at the back sometimes is kind of boring. And I think like, you know, if you're gonna have quite a plain, simple dress, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of something going on at the back. Um, this was really reasonable, obviously, because it's a new look. Um, and I do think the colour is really beautiful, really versatile, very pretty, day to night, easy, sandals, chuck on, barely there, shoes, chuck on, maybe some wedges, something a bit different, but really, really nice piece and just like perfect for summer. Okay, I've got a sexy little number for you at the end, saving that little one until the end, little saucy number to finish with. So this one, unfortunately, was too large. Got a little bit of dust on it. Uh, this was a size 12, ASOS own, too large. Really, really sweet. The idea of this is beautiful. Look at the sleeve details, they're absolutely gorgeous. It's like a lovely puff sleeve, really elegant. Again, it's got this gorgeous crisscross back, which is just to die for, and then comes into a little tie at the bottom. It's got a zip, but it didn't really need this like stretchy bit around the waist to be honest, because it was quite it's quite wide. Like if you look at it, it's quite wide got a really pretty frill at the bottom which is lovely and then it's just got this really simple like pretty design which is just lovely it's never going to go out of style this it's like one of those pieces you're just going to have forever and ever and ever i think white dresses are just so classic you're never going to go out of style something like this perhaps may go out of style whereas this just won't so it's really gorgeous and lovely and a nice like different piece so I'll talk to you next about this one that I've got on. This is an ASOS own as well. And um, when I got out of the bag, I was like, oh no. When I put it on, I was like, oh no. Then I took some snaps in it, did the cutaway in it, and I was like, I'm kind of feeling this. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling these. I really like it. Really, so I've always loved a square neckline. I feel like I repeat myself so much in these videos because I just keep telling you how many things I love about things, but I love a square neckline, I love some puffy sleeve detail, I love these little like shaped sleeves, which I've not s seen much on dresses, I really like it, I did actually see it, I, I just said that and I was like, I said that in my H&M haul last week, <laughs> I did say that in my H&M haul because I had a really, literally speechlessly gorgeous dress in that H&M haul with the most 
divine sleeves that were like sheer sleeves but with like little buttons oh my god if you haven't seen it you need to go and see it it's literally it's the dress of dreams it's it's to, just to die for it's delicious um so this is exactly the same at the back as it is the front it's kind of short it's kind of short i don't know you can't i can't quite get that far enough but it is kind of short but i like it it's kind of cute it's kind of like because it's not clingy i feel like you can get away with the shortness this with like a super chill pair of like big and stocks if you hate big and stocks you don't belong on my channel no I'm joking <laughs> but i had actually put up a poll on my instagram the other day asking what people's thoughts about them were they were so 50 50 because they are kind of ugly but i personally just love them but i think that cuts up like this would just like super chill with a pair i actually have a pair over there which i ordered from another haul and oh my lash if you love them by the way i didn't realize this but river island have all of them online so that's a good little tip for you and maybe a little hint to what video is coming up on sunday it's a river island haul <laughs> So yeah, um, some really nice pieces in that yet to come. So I'm going to show you this last dress now. So this is a little slinky, sexy number. I actually really like this. You definitely save this for like a date night. Personally, it was quite busty. But you know, for date night that's fine. It's very hard to see on the hanger. It's definitely going to be better to look at in the category than it is on, on here. It's from a company called Na Nana? Nana. Yeah, not in the UK. Again, not heard of it, but interesting to go and see what other pieces they have. The back was super sexy on this. It was really low, just above the bum. Literally super, all that cut out back bit was lovely. It was very clingy. It had a little slit at the bottom of the back. This was just like cute, sexy, girly date night piece. I really like that. I think it's a nice little one just to finish off on. So something a little bit different, but I love the color of it as well. And the material, obviously it's satin. <laughs> I loved it personally. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your favourite item down below at the bottom in the comments section. And if you did enjoy today's haul, please remember to hit that subscribe button. As I said, women empowerment, gotta support each other. If I can support you back in any way, please let me know. If you aren't already, please come over and follow me on Instagram. I'm at with love Katie. And as I said earlier, you can shop all of my Instagram over on Like to Know It, so you can come and follow me on there as well. Everything that I've shown you in this haul, even including the shoes, which I said aren't from ASOS, will be linked down below. And if there's anything you can't find, please don't hesitate to ask, reach out to me. Loads of you have been recently reaching out to me over on Instagram, which has been really nice. Um, yeah, so hopefully I will see you in the next haul. Thank you so much for being here. I upload videos Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. So I hopefully see you in the next one.